Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Father. The word synergy has become a very popular word, yet unfortunately sometimes too often used and used in all sorts of different ways. Some throw this word around in motivational presentations, and there are even a variety of books with this word synergy in the title. One such, word, such book, simply called Synergy by Mark Latash, says the word synergy has recently become very common in both scientific and non-scientific fields. The word is used in the names of companies, cereals, methods of education, interaction among humans and animals, and certainly in basic and applied studies of movements. Mostly this word is used today to refer to a co cooperation with others that produces a result that neither party could have achieved on their own. However, much before this word synergy became popular as a phrase that so many people throw around to sound a little sophisticated, St. Paul used this Greek word to refer to the cooperative relationship that we all need to have with God. In today's letter to the Corinthians, St. Paul says, we are God's co-workers. The word in Greek for co-workers is synergy. It is translated as co-workers because the word literally means to work with. We can think of it as synonymous, symbiotic, or synchronized energy with God. Synchronized swimming, if you've ever watched it on TV or participate in it, you may realize that it is one of the most difficult sports, very complicated sport to get involved with synchronized swimming. We can think of our life, every aspect of our life, therefore, as a synchronized swimming with God synchronized swim, to sync our life with what God wants for us. Synergy is a very important word and concept in our Catholic tradition because we use it to emphasize that today neither God nor us work alone. Before humans were created, God did work alone. If you look at the book of Genesis, it focuses on this in the first verse, which reads quite simply, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And then in the third verse, there is a further emphasis on God creating both alone and also instantaneously. And God said, Let there be light, and there was light. After God created the first humans, he then became only a co-worker in the creation of the life of every other human that was created. This is the blessing that men and women get in marriage. They become co-creators in synergy with God and with each other. So today God no longer works alone. God synergizes with humans. He started, in a sense, to synchronize swim with all of us. And this beautiful synchronized swim continues in everything he wants for us. Every day, God invites us to this beautiful synchronized dance with him. We, in turn, need to be aware that not only is God synchronizing and synergizing, that is, co-working with us, but we are invited here this morning and every single day to synergize, to co-work with Him. In every aspect of our life, God still invites us to be His co-workers, to be in synergy with Him. In the letter to the Corinthians that we read today, St. Paul emphasizes that we are His co-workers that is in synergy with God, and also that we are co-workers 
in synergy with each other. St. Paul says, According to God's grace, which has been given to me as a wise builder, I laid the foundation, and another builds upon it. This is a very important point in our spiritual life. We cannot think that either God works alone or that we work alone. We can neither say God can do whatever he wants and nor can we say that we can do whatever we want. God works with us to encourage us to make good things happen in our life and when we work with God, things come to fruition in a very beautiful and harmonious way. The source of every good thought and of every good thing that we do is God himself. This is all a gift that God gives us today and every day. These are daily gifts that God wants us to acknowledge that they are from him and he wants us to multiply those gifts and work with others in a same way that we work with him. The letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians also reminds us that God has put his Holy Spirit in each one of us. In other words, he does not expect us to synchronize swim with him on our own or through our own power. God has put the Holy Spirit in us to encourage us to encourage us to do good things, and it is our synchronized response that determines whether the good that needs to get done actually gets done. Because when we're out of sync with God, we get to, into all sorts of problems in our life. And, as you see in the world, all we need to do is turn on the TV or look at the news to see how people's actions, and sometimes even our own, when they're not synchronized with God, lead to all sorts of problems. This is what synergy, working with God, means in our Catholic tradition as used by St. Paul. We have another beautiful example of synergy in the Gospel that we read today. When St. Peter sees Jesus walking on the water, he says, Lord, if it is you, order me to come to you over the water. However, when St. Peter saw the wind, he began to sink. St. Peter focused on his own fears and forgot that it was Jesus who had given him the power to walk on the water. When he was in synergy with God, he could do anything, even walk on water. When Peter saw himself sinking, he turned once again to Jesus and said, Lord, save me. And Jesus at once stretched out his hand and took hold of him, saying to him, Oh, you of little faith, why did you doubt? And when they got into the boat, the wind fell. This is the contrast that the gospel presents to us. When we work in synergy with God, we walk on water, and when we turn to our own strength and cut God, isolate God from our life, we begin to sink. The invitation to walk on water came from Jesus, and St. Peter could only be sustained by stay, staying focused on Jesus. This is a great example of synergy with God, and is an inspiration for all of us to turn to God in every need, regardless of what those needs may be. When we realize that true success is only achieved when we are working with God, then we can see God as the source of every inspiration and also see God as our strength in accomplishing the good that we sometimes work too hard to accomplish and get very little done. Very often, unfortunately, we are like St. Peter, who turn to God only when we are not doing very well, and then when things are going well, we forget that God is the one who helps us walk on the water and helps things move smoothly for us. Working with God means to remember God in times of difficulty as well as in times of strength. There's a story of a group of scientists who got together 
And they decided to tell God that they no longer need him in the world. Humanity has advanced so much that they said, you know, God can leave us all alone. So they asked one of the lead scientists, you know, call upon God and tell him that we're good as humans. He can just leave everything alone because we can do, we have figured out how to do everything that he did in the Bible. We know how to walk on water. We even know how to create. We know how to do everything. So God came and they challenged him and they said, God, we can do everything, even what you did in the book of Genesis, create humans. He said, okay, I created humans from the dust of the earth. He said, I, they said, we can do that. So they gathered all the dust and they started putting it together. And God said, hey, hold on a sec. I created that dust. Go make your own dust <laughs> if you think you're so smart. This is how we approach things. We rearranged the world. And then we say, wow, how brilliant we are. We tear down mountains to build skyscrapers, and then they say, we say, how magnificent is that skyscraper? Etc., etc., in so many ways in our life. It is very good to think that we are smart, but it is even better to know that every good quality we have is a free gift of God that is to be used in synergy with Him and in how he intended our gifts and our talents and our strengths to be used. Today's readings encourage us to work with God and with others. And this is the kind of synergy that helps us grow as men and women of faith. In everything we do, let us remind ourselves that God is the source of every good inspiration. And God is also our strength as we work hard in order to synchronize our swim through life with Him. We are co-workers. We are in synergy with God when we work for God and when we humbly recognize that everything is for God and everything we do is with God.